G'day guys, what's going on? My name is Dylan and hopefully you all are feeling fantastic today. Yes, we're going to take a look at... I do believe... Right, so my mate in the uh, in the Discord here... Don't forget guys, we have a new Discord, alright? So go ahead and check that out. I'll put a link to it in uh, over on Patreon. My mate said that uh, this is about Ted Bundy. Now, I don't know too much about Ted Bundy at all, to be honest. Um, but we're watching Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil and Vile. There you go. Extremely Wicked. That's what we're watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has got Zac Efron, the beautiful, stunning Lily Collins. Um, well, It's got uh, Kaya Scordelario. And it's based on real life. True story of Ted Bundy, which we know. Sorry, guys. I've just been distracted here because I'm seeing a lot of other ones. The Serpent. Huh. Anyway, guys, let's jump straight into this. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy this. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you do, love to hear your thoughts as always, ladies and gentlemen, because you are the people that keep this ticking over on Patreon and the people that keep this ticking over on YouTube. So don't forget, guys, we have so much content coming your way on both Patreon and on YouTube, but Patreon gets an exclusive and they get more content as well. So that's the incentive over on Patreon, ladies and gentlemen. And um, yeah, like I said, go check the new Discord out and let's go. Let's rock. Why did you bring me to a college bar? No guy is gonna wanna go with a single mom who works in the secretary. How can you be invisible when that guy's been staring at you all night? <laughs> That's a beautiful ring. I didn't come to catch up, Ted. This is my last quarter. Better make it a good one. Do you remember the night we met? Yeah. What do you say we get out of here? Well, I don't even know your name. <laughs> I understand if you want to go. Why would I want to do that? Sorry, guys. I'm just saying about Ted Bundy again. I don't know hardly anything about the serial killer. Are you sure you don't want to run? But I know, I know he like he killed multiple girls. Like I think it was like, wasn't it like below forty or forty or something like that? Something like that. But I don't know like the full story behind him. Yeah, because. I don't know, I just never, I just never did. I never researched about him at all. I don't know. Was she one of them that survived, was it? I'm really tired. Do you want to rest? She's still, she, she's not hurt at all. Hi. Coffee? Bro, that's weird, man. I would be stressed out too. <laughs> oh my god. I'd be like, what you the hell? Sleeping. Hey. Oh, look at the knife. Breakfast? Making omelets, found some Bro, bacon. that's a clue there. The way he was holding that knife then. Surely that's a big clue. I mean, you wouldn't be really paying attention to the knife way it's being held. But the way he's holding it is like a serial killer. Young women were being attacked and murdered with alarming regularity. King County police have started their investigation after Jan Assad and Denise Naslin asking several women to help him load a boat onto a Volkswagen. Seeing the suspect. King County Sheriff. Oh. Hi, officer. I think I must be lost. <laughs> got a little bit spooked. You got a license? Yes, absolutely. Wait, so back then you could get out of the vehicle? Like, hell no, bro. In America, you'd be shot, dude. That's false right there. You'd be shot in America hopping out the vehicle like that. You'd be shot on sight. Absolutely. Uh, let, let's just ask a question. A hey, fool, if you did that in America right now, you'd be shot on sight. Am I right? Correct? Yeah, most likely. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> If they don't shoot you on sight, they'll definitely have their guns out at you right now and be like, get back in the car, get back in the car. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. So, there you go, guys. You heard it from an American right there. I'm a law student over at uh, the University of Utah. I'm going to propose to her as soon as I graduate. I'm trying to save her that ring. 
Hmm. Hello? Stay here. Oh, what the? How many stop signs did you run? Oh. It's in all the papers, Ted. Number six, step forward. If you don't stop screaming, I'm gonna kill you. Number seven. I got your bail reduced. You'll be in Seattle with Liz tomorrow. Huh. I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to. So out. It, it, this could have all been prevented. Wow. Hmm. Sounds a bit like Jeffrey Dahmer. Very interesting. I know it's hard being apart, but we only have four semesters between us. Monkey! Hey, what's up? This sack of potatoes is getting pretty dang heavy. Dizzy. Another clue right there. Another clue right there. The way he was holding her was like the way he probably holds the dead bodies. Just saying. My lawyer found out that the police showed him that picture beforehand. The police already had my name. Someone gave it to him. It's been following me since I got back. Or I'm being set up. Damn so was so this... Was it allegedly? Nah. He's a master manipulator, isn't he? He's good at talking. That romantic stuff, isn't he? He does it to, to hide. To hide his true face. She's going to find some real deep stuff out with inside of this movie. All right, it says less than 40 women. Allegedly less than 40 women. Blood soaked. Is there something wrong? Just come with me, please. Bring your coat. You know this is ridiculous, right? I'm closing soon anyway, so it's just better for everybody. Hey, stop! Hey! I know you're following me! What are you doing? All right, what so are you doing? that's either a private investigator hired from the police or he is being framed, but I don't know. I don't know. It's a movie after all, guys. I don't know what they're going to do, what they're going to portray him as. I think we should get married. A couple of college girls disappeared last year around the University of Washington. Help them put a sailboat on top of a car and police put out a sketch. Because your name landed on a suspect list in Seattle. Ah. If you don't stop screaming, I'm going to kill you. I'll blow your brains out. Is the man who approached you present in court today? Can you point to where he's seated? It looks something like him, but I really couldn't say for sure. His Volkswagen looks nothing like your description. How do you square that? They told me it was supposed to be the car. <laughs> Who did? Who told you that, Mr. Ronk? You identified my client because law enforcement wanted you to, didn't you? No further questions, Your Honor. Carolina? Uh, hi, stranger. Oh my God. I'm just visiting some friends at work here. Hi, hey, my girlfriend. We just got engaged, so. Everything's going to be okay, you know? We're all behind you. 100%. Are they going to are they going to be portraying him as like being set up this whole movie? Because one thing I do know about him is that he played innocent until the end. Isn't that true? He played innocent for so many years even when he went to prison. He played not guilty. Yeah, we're just old friends. I haven't seen her in a long time. He looks like he'd be a good roommate. I promise you'll never leave me, Liz. Know about that dog? <laughs> Do you see that? Dogs detect evil. Dogs are the best at detecting evil. That's a fact, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you have anything more lively to listen to? I don't want to listen to this. <laughs> I hereby find the defendant guilty of aggravated kidnapping beyond a reasonable doubt. This court is adjourned. Everything's gonna be listen, everything's gonna be fine, all right? Damn. Straight up the clacker. Everything is going to be okay. 
I want to come see you. I was really hoping you'd say that. University Medical Division. Oh, we all know who that is. Hi, Liz. This is Detective Mike Fisher. You have a moment? What's your game? I'm kind of busy. Well, I don't work for King County. I work for Big King County. You ever been to Colorado, Ted? Let me get back to plotting my escape here. You were. My game is homicide. And please don't call me here anymore. Hmm. Give me some good news. Did you go through? I thought I told you not to talk Bro, to anyone. This, yeah. There's so many, so many weird things going on with this story, man. Just... There are so, so many gray areas with inside of everything inside of this. Homicide detective that you've never been to Colorado? He had your gas slips. I've, I've been to Colorado tons of times. I'm an avid skier. Well, I was just with Liz in Colorado. They are railroading me. I'm not licensed in Colorado. John! 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 Bro, this is so weird. Is it true or not? Like, did he do it? I mean, like, I don't know whether to feel bad for him or not feel bad for him. I don't, I don't know, man. Shrimmer. Colorado. It's about another missing girl, isn't it? That sketch that we saw, it looked just like him. It's a mistake. The police said he was cleared. How do you even know that? I think you should leave. Okay. It's so weird, though, because it's like, there's hardly no concrete evidence to put him behind bars yet. You know what I mean? Like, I've seen so many cases where people have done, like, similar things to what he's allegedly done, yeah? Whatever what he's done, and yet it's taken them a long time to mount evidence to find out exactly what they what they should be in jail for. Crazy. I convinced the judge to make me co-counsel, so I have all the benefits of, like, a regular lawyer. I have a headache and I have to work. Yeah, but hold on one sec. Liz. Liz, Liz, Liz. The state of Colorado seeks to prosecute the defendant for the murder of Karen Campbell. We're not here to consider the credibility of the evidence, only its existence. Hmm. And after careful <laughs> in favor of the defendant standing trial for the murder of Karen Campbell. The state also seeks a hearing to consider the death penalty. The death penalty? It's just a formality. You bought your plane ticket yet? You can't do another trial. Pass. You have to come. Liz, promise me that you'll come. You've also been convicted in Utah of attempted kidnapping. I am comfortable with my blanket statement that I am innocent. People are going to continue showing up. Look, even if he day. is guilty or not guilty, whatever, yada, yada, yada. The fact that the police did the most... How can I say? Unprofessional work you'll ever see... The most unprofessional work you'll ever see by a police force, by an investigation team, with little evidence. I mean, like, look, they've only, they've only, it, it's like, literally, it's like one person's word versus someone else's, yeah. And it's like, I understand, like, yes, he probably is guilty, but I'm, what I'm saying, guys, is that there's, I don't know, I don't know if this movie is showing it, but. It just feels like it's so unprofessional the way the police have acted. The defense requests that the court exclude the death penalty. Let's take a 15-minute recess before concluding with the prosecution's final arguments. I need to make a phone call. I need to call this. Be right back. I'm good. How are you? You came all the way from Ohio just for this little trial? There's this kid with a record running right at me. So I unholstered my service weapon, making like I was about to discharge. He's gonna run. Oh, that me. Give me a ticket for an arrow, my baby. Just a rope me a letter. Days are gone. I'm going home some more. Anyway, yeah, days are gone. I'm going home. I can't believe he actually did this, though. That's almost impossible to do it these days. He went that way. The subject has been spotted by the northeast of the court. Mr. Dumas, where the hell is your client? And a bench warrant has been issued for his arrest. Hmm. I guess we're... ...asked the sheriff's secretary if it was normal for somebody to be leaping out of those <laughs> windows. 
He actually went in there and said, Oh, yeah, officer, is it normal for someone to be jumping out of those windows? Really? America, take a bow. Take a bow, America. America have won it again, ladies and gentlemen. Gold medal for America, I swear to God. I need a drink. You already had one. Since your little girl started asking why her mommy is so sad. I'm a good mother. You are a great mother, but you are in denial. What if the only thing he's guilty of is running a stop sign? You know this didn't start with a stop sign. This morning, he was returned to court. Additional charges relating to his escape. Hmm. See, that's weird. Like, I feel like... It, because they've made this into a movie, they've skipped so much, so quickly. Like, this had potential to be an amazing, an amazing movie, if it wasn't a movie. If they made this into a TV series, I'm telling you, they could have added so much more. Because, like, him hiding in the mountains, being hunted by the law enforcement, everything, like, that would have been, that would have made for some entertainment right there, guys. Absolute entertainment. But no, we just... All of a sudden, we missed five days of him hiding out in the mountains and all of a sudden captured. Like, what the hell? Oh, my gosh. Outside, fresh air. Fancy. You brought me the only thing I wanted in the entire world. I've heard it four times. Never lose hope. Got scared. Your lawyer called. And he said the Utah appeal was rejected. Do you not love me anymore? I do, and that's the problem. Mm. This is for Molly. What? No, Liz, please don't go. Liz! Mm. Hey. Hey. What's your... Let me guess. Workmate swoops right in. She ends Mine's up marrying him. A of belt notches. Everybody's got something they want, something they want to get rid of. I see I dead people. There are many things I can live without. What about you and your big plans? Planning to sleep, sleep through the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Utah law student is on the FBI 10 most wanted list. He has hmm. success. One of the first victims he is suspected of killing was Linda Ann Healy. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to bother you. I'm Detective Mike Fisher. Okay, well, I'm um, assuming that you know that Ted escaped. If you do know something that you're not telling me. You came all the way from Colorado to tell me that? If you help us to get him, you can prevent it from happening again. Sooner or later, you're going to have to confront the truth. She's about to find everything out. Isn't this already? Yeah, it already house early yesterday and murdered two women. All right, he's guilty. He's guilty. There we go. He's guilty. He's guilty. I just, I just needed to be 100% certain right there, ladies and gentlemen. He's guilty for sure. He's guilty as ever. The, the movie portrays him in the first 45 minutes or so that he's this innocent person, yeah? And then that right there, there was a couple of things that I was like, eh, why would he run away if he knew that he wasn't guilty? That right there just confirms it. And then strangled to death, 20-year-old Lisa Levy and 21-year-old Margaret Bowman. What kind of a person do you think is at large? Right there. Sorry, I couldn't make out your headlights, and I think I just got a little bit spooked. Stop our shoot! Hmm. Now you. Hello. I'm in Florida. I made a deal with the police. I did not do these things. I'm innocent. Why is he still saying it? It's crazy how he's still saying it. It's crazy how he's still saying that he's innocent. It's like, what? So it's just a coincidence that everywhere you go, death follows. Like, 
someone gets murdered, and especially in the places that you've been? Like, come on, bro. Poor Liz. The game is over, Ted. Tighten things up in a major way. They have a tail that is as long as they're... I'm gonna fry you. Oh. Hey, no, no. What are you doing? What is that? Oh, it's an indictment. Why don't, why don't, why don't you uh, read that to me? You said and by get the authority of the state of... He said he was going to get me. Three counts of attempted murder. You know what? I'll plead not guilty right now. I have been buried by you. You've been talking. It's my turn to talk now. You are not. You know what? I will be heard. Thank you, Ted. Ted mm. has learned that... The apartment is less than a mile from the Chi Omega sorority house at Florida State. Directory assistance, please. What have they done to you? The problem with my leg. I run too fast. <laughs> hey, no touching. Yep. I know, thank you. I'm more popular than Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> That's so freaking weird. Bro, isn't that... Like, honestly, isn't that humans in a nutshell where a serial killer can get become the most popular person on this planet. How many times have you said, how do, who do we know that's discovered this sort of cure for this sort of illness? And we don't know. But we know so many famous serial killers. It's unbelievable. I mean, I knew Ted Bundy's name. And I didn't even know who he was. But I knew his name. <laughs> I may want to move to Florida. There are worse places to be. It's great to see you. No touching. Bryce, some chicken soup. Thank you. Do you want to come in? Interesting, huh? Very interesting. We've got a great team of public defenders waiting in a private room. Oh, anything you have to say, you can say in front of Carolyn. You'll be the first nationally televised trial in history. They've agreed to recommend life sentences instead of the death penalty. That's a joke, right? My own lawyers are against me. This is a nightmare. And make sure your side of the story is heard. I can't say anything. You'd be mm. willing to do that for me? You're not asking. I'm insisting. She put her hands on his hands before and no one said anything. He did it and then he, they said no touching. That's weird. It wasn't an accident. I saw you in Utah. I was there for you can't be any worse than what they're already saying on TV. Not the truth. This. As we all know, ladies and gentlemen, as we all know... Hey, Sheldon Cooper. As we all know, ladies and gentlemen, just remember this. Lies build up. Lies build up. Lies build up. Until the truth gets so close to comfort that the lies are finally found out. Pop. Goes that balloon, full of lies, because it gets too far down the track, and you can't save yourself. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a lesson about telling lies. I have every intention of showing him how we do things. Get him, Sheldon Cooper. Now, this trial well done, analyze, Sheldon Cooper. So, uh, you can judge for yourself. That's all I have. A jury of his peers selected by Mr. Bundy is a diversified lot. Well, court will come to order. You look nice, partner. Thank you, Your Honor. You may proceed, Mr. Simpson. <laughs> Sheldon, Sheldon. Don't let his opening statement fail. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, show no emotion this case, at all. A young woman arrived home to the Chi Omega sorority house. A man ran down carrying an oak log and fled. Her roommates, too. She was sitting on her bed in a daze. Her neck had been twisted at an inhuman angle. Oh, jaw was broken. She was missing a nipple. Ew. She'd been raped and strangled that her neck was constricted to half its size. What the hell, man? How can you do that, We're Ted? Still not sure honestly. If she died from strangulation. Mate, how can someone do that? How can honestly someone do that? It left burn marks on her thigh. What is unusual to see is that many of the onlookers are women, young women. Also really dreamy. I'm not afraid of him. I try to imagine myself in his place and imagine what he's feeling. See, and that's what his ex misses now is thinking exactly like that. Like, uh, he does this to women. 
He's a womanizer. He literally manipulates women. The young women themselves aren't too sure what it is that attracts them to the trial. I guess I love him. One woman, Carol Boone, believes Bundy is completely innocent. It's obvious the media has already convicted Ted before he's had his day in court. Not about getting the truth. You need to trust me. Please continue. You need to do your job. Then he asked, what part was that, detective? His confession. He said he was a vampire. Objection. It's a narration on behalf of the witness, Your Honor should automatically disqualify anything masquerading as evidence. You notice I didn't say how far ahead. Bless your heart. When I say object, object, I never lose hope. There is no justification for the treatment that I've been receiving. Since I have been in Dade County, and quantity of counsel you <laughs> have. You have had more counsel than a duck has quacks. I have <laughs> never... Motion says media interferes with the defendant's right to a fair trial. Mom? Some kind of ambush? No, Bunny, no. Really? I wouldn't be able to live if I lost you. It's highly likely they can secure conviction. I am innocent. You know that, right? If they take your life, it'll all be for nothing. Don't consider the plea. Don't be angry, Teddy. We're just mm. trying to help you. I'm telling you, bro, it's about to pop. It's about to pop. He's about to finally cave in and be like, yep, yeah, I did it all. I did it all. The evidence is getting too much, man. Don't ever do that again. I don't trust this jury. I'm scared. So was he. Oh, the shakes are happening, ladies and gentlemen. I understand there is a matter you'd like to present to the court. In coercing his own client into admitting guilt, I am, in fact, not guilty. I would like to resign as counsel. Counselor's first words I can agree to. How's this for motion? <laughs> From the beginning of the trial, murder at the former law student announced he intended to take over as chief counsel. This is an enlarged photograph of the defendant's teeth. He showed the court the peculiarities of Bundy's slightly crooked upper front teeth. Is there any way to test whether those teeth will make the same marks over and over? Your Honor, I question the competency of this entire trial. This is a farce. Oh. You're killing her. Then will you please give her a message for me? Can you tell her that I love her? Oh, man. He was thinking about killing her, wasn't he? He was thinking about it. He was legit thinking about killing her. Uh, oh, Dad. Yeah, right. Do you still love her? I brooded my entire life for you. No, she's not here. She's gone. What about me? I almost married that girl. You're the one I should have married. We can get a house. On the sound. I'm a dog. I'm allergic to dogs. He <laughs> says we have to wait. We don't. Did you visit me while I was being held in Florida in custody in February 1978? No, you most definitely did not. Your Honor, then the state's odontologists have obviously taken my teeth and twisted them. Is there no work ethic left here in Florida? You impress me not, sir. Well, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> Indeed it does. <laughs> you know, this is weird as hell. Prosecutors dismissed Bunny's marriage proposal as a charade. I know you unplug the phones when I fall asleep. He froze because he knew that I knew what he was. You're just jealous because Ted and I have a bond you and I never could. <laughs> Get out! I need to let him go. Get out! It's okay. <laughs> I wish I could take it all back. Why do you act like, like you're responsible for the things that happened to him? I'm the one who gave his name to the police. Hey, Damn! Brown to light brown, dark tan, 160 pounds. I saw a sketch. It's a minor Damn! Oh! <laughs> Damn! All right, that throws the spanner into the woodworks. Jesus Christ. Wow. That's a 1968 Volkswagen bug, but it's kind wow. of Wow. Let me stop you right there. He's not the guy. I can put his name down if it'll help you sleep at night. Wow. Ted Bundy. That all these other murders were done by Ted, and all I did was call his name in. 
you shouldn't be ashamed of that. If you told him that, Damn. he deserves it, Liz. Liz, you did the right thing. This guy just wants to get in her pants. I swear to you, God, you he just, just wants to have sex with her. This guy honestly just wants to get in her pants. I'm telling you right now. He doesn't truly care. He just wants to get in her pants. You have been witness to the unspeakable horrors. There are two ways for police to investigate crimes. Decide on that suspect. In a manner so savage, it ruptured her internal organs. Damn, that's up. Charade testified that the man wore a mask, obscuring half of his face. Theodore Robert Bundy is guilty of two murders in the first degree. That innocent suspect. Okay, we have a verdict. We've come to a verdict. Oh my gosh. The one with the house and the dog and the car. Uh, yeah, yeah. She was pregnant. Ted, it's time to go. Let's go finish this thing. Would you deliver this to the clerk for pronouncement? Find the defendant, Theodore Robert Bundy, guilty as charged. Of Cheryl Thomas, guilty as charged. I consider the death penalty, and I don't believe that the state of Florida is above the laws of God. Extremely wicked, shockingly evil, vile. By a current of electricity that shall pass through your body. Damn. I won't ask for mercy. I find it absurd to ask for mercy for something that I did not do. I do not accept the sentence, as it is not a sentence of me. Your name, sir, was on that verdict. You went a different way, partner. Take care of yourself. Mm. I thought you'd like to see this. Thanks, Janet. Would you, uh, would you give me a moment, please? Dear Liz, and if anyone deserves to hear it, as it was, it's you. I admit, I am in a little trouble, but it's all going to work out. Convicted killer Ted Bundy, scheduled to die in Florida's electric chair tomorrow. After a report that... The way they've made this movie is insane. Absolutely insane. That's a beautiful ring. Do you remember the night we met? My love for you was never a lie. I need to hear the truth from you now. I would never hurt a woman. I'm the one who gave your name to the police. What? It was 1974. Damn, she just told him. Man into his Volkswagen boat. Now, what is your name? I can't live like this anymore, Ted. It's not my guilt. Trading the truth to buy more time? I have to tell them what they want to hear. It's the only way to save my own life. Did you do it? No. The Colorado women? Oh, Liz. I can't give you what you want. Kimberly Leach. She was 12. 12? You don't do these things, Liz! I wish that we could be alone. Release me! Anyone but you. It took me over a decade to look at this photo. To her head. She was deposited in the woods. Done something like Animals that. don't do that. Monsters do it. You need... To release me, Ted. There you go. What did I say? What did I say? The lies build up, build up, build up, build up, build up, build up, build up until. It's like, it's like blowing a balloon up. It's like blowing a balloon up, ladies and gentlemen. That balloon just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until finally it pops. The truth, ladies and gentlemen, always comes out. Let's begin. <laughs> There you go. I promise you'll never leave me, Liz. I don't even know your name. There you go. Huh? Oh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It was a cool film. It was a really cool film. I am. I'm proud of you, Mom. 
So they said 30, yeah, I heard it was 40, yeah? <laughs> That's a long list right there. Damn. I'm not guilty. <laughs> if I ever f saw that, what he just did then, I'll know, yeah, 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 he's guilty for sure. Bro, what the f was that? I'm telling you, man, like, they've made Bundy in this movie look a lot more, a lot more sane than he actually is. I swear to God, in this movie, they portrayed him as an innocent person. What do we have here, Ken? Let's see. You always say an indictment, all right? It's all you're going to get. Let's read it. Let's go. You made a good lawyer. I'd love to have you practice in front of me. The signal came early. Ted Bundy was dead. I stay mean. The doctor was alone. Mm -hmm. like That's what I was about to live. say. Yep. People they like, love, and live with may well be killers as well. That's what I mean, man. Like, all those people celebrating right there, his death, I guarantee you, one of them, one of them has somewhat convicted, committed a crime just as bad. I guarantee you all those people celebrating, there's at least one person. And you're probably thinking, you're high. Nah, nah, nah. I'm right. Trust me. The stats prove it, ladies and gentlemen. You just won't find out. A lot of the stats as well are an understatement. The most demonic people imaginable. Wow. There you go, guys. There you go. All right. So right off the bat, guys, I'm going to give this a, I'm going to give it a, a six out of ten, right? And I'm just going to say this: why I give it six out of ten. I think they chose the wrong actor for this. Um, let me just say that Zac Efron, them choosing Zac Efron, one, he's a very handsome fella. Yeah, we have to admit, he's a very handsome fella. He's built like a brick shit house. Now the person himself, Bundy, wasn't very handsome at all guys you've seen it i mean that that man wasn't attractive at all i don't know why but why girls were crazy but that wasn't an attractive man at all whatsoever and he wasn't built like a brick shit house he was like he was thinly built yeah and the thing too you got to remember we saw zach efron playing like zach efron like, I, I put my hat off to him his acting was phenomenal phenomenal but the thing is he was so calm and composed during some of the interviews and during some of the scenes. We saw the real footage of Ted Bundy and he's laughing <laughs> like a maniac, like a crazy, evil person. And I guarantee you, there are so many things that these police officers saw that everyone saw in Ted Bundy and they said, yeah, this guy is, he's not, he's not right. He is honestly not right. And yeah, we definitely need to investigate this further. We didn't see that in the movie. We saw a calm, composed person throughout the whole time. Throughout the whole time. Even when he jumped out through the window and escaped and went into the woods. It's like they skipped five days of that. I feel like if, if the producers... Of the TV series, Dharma, Jeffrey Dharma. I feel like if them, they took over something like this and they turned it into a TV series, I feel like we would have got a lot better value for our buck right there. Because for me, there was so much that they skipped out of this. And this is why sometimes movies are bad because they do skip a lot of stuff when it comes to true base stories. They skip so many things. And I feel like this should have been a TV series, guys. It should have been. And it would have been so much better because it would have been so much more detailed. Like, there's so many things. Like, 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 like Liz and, and her new husband. And there's so many different things, guys, throughout this whole film. And I feel like... In this, they portrayed Ted Bundy as an innocent person until everything mounted up. But if if you guys didn't, if we didn't research and we didn't know about who Ted Bundy truly was, 
And we saw this for the first time. We were like, that guy's innocent. What the hell, man? And then we saw at the end, yeah, the truth added up. Everything added up. But this, that's what I'm just saying to you guys. It's like, in this movie, I feel like we were somewhat made to feel no remorse, really, for Liz at all. But I feel so bad for her myself because of what she went through. That would have been horrible. Absolutely horrible. And she did the right thing in the end. You know she did the right thing. If he was innocent, it would be different. It would be like, oh, shit. But he was he was guilty as guilty could be. He was guilty with a capital G and a capital Y, guys. And I feel like he was the master manipulator. He was the master manipulator. And we had evidence throughout this whole movie on why he was. Why he was the master manipulator. And I guarantee you guys, if they chose another actor, another actor that looked very similar to Ted Bundy, I think he would have been a little bit different and acted like Ted Bundy. Don't get me wrong, guys. Don't get me wrong. Zac Efron's acting was phenomenal in this. He was phenomenal. But I feel like his image didn't suit Ted Bundy's at all. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm honest with my reviews. I'm giving this a 6 out of 10. It was a pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section if you did. Link down in the description down below, guys. Take it easy. Peace out, and we'll speak to you in the next one. Bye, guys.